Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the Love Not Fear podcast. I'm here with my co-host, Eduard Brink, and I'm David Hensel, and I'm excited to talk about what we're talking about, Eduard. We're talking about being an owner versus being a victim. Mm -hmm. So knowing what you can shift is very important. We spoke about, about that. What is in your circle of influence and wisdom is to know the difference between the things you can change and the things you can change. But determining your attitude and your beliefs about what you can shift, that is crucial. So it's very easy to be a victim and have your future based on the past. Mm -hmm. And it was not uh, too long ago that I would fit that uh, that picture pretty pretty well and started to zoom out and talking to some some people that that uh, gave a different perspective on, uh, on 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 values and very interesting another thing I, I i found that victims are often addicted to the past mm. so it is so easy to bathe in memories and old pain and determine actions based on that and uh, especially when you when you get older you might lose the uh, flexibility um, to approach new situations, new people in a certain way. So love not fear determines who you are. Are you an owner or a oh, victim? A victim? Yeah, it's a victim. I, I really do my best and do a lot to not be a victim. I only, for example... I do not consume any news. I never watch the news because I hear things that are negative and I cannot impact them. And then it puts me into the victim position. Like all these bad things are yep. happening. Uh, and I do not want to be in this victim position. So I do not consume it. I only focus on things I can impact. If I can't impact, I accept that this is out of my control, but I do not put myself into a victim position. You know, and also one of our core values at home is, um, Hansels don't complain. Hansels find solutions. And I mm. always tell, tell my daughter this. Yeah. And uh, she also throws it back at me whenever I complain about something. And cool. she says like, hey, dad, you know, we don't complain. We find solutions. Because once you are in a state of finding a solution, then you leave the, the victim mentality. Yeah. And um, yeah, just, you know, as you said, the serenity prayer, God give me the power to, or the serenity to accept things I cannot change the power to change things and the wisdom to know which one's which. I guess like, you know, which areas do you want to own and go for it or where do you just don't care? Yeah. So I strongly believe that only I determine what becomes reality. Mm -hmm. And I have the possibility to respond in a, to external stimuli in, in a certain way. So there is a infinite number of ways to, to react on any situation. But by making conscious uh, choices... And taking responsibility, yeah, that is something um, you have to work on. It is something to you want to work on. Myself of. Yeah, I want, want to work, work, on. work on. But yeah, and definitely. But yeah, it, it also means zooming out uh, and and being in touch and and having like uh, knowing these these triggers when when you uh, find yourself reacting out of out of out of fear or out of out of a victimized situation and, yeah an interesting thing um we're currently working on building the love not fear business operating system and um my friend evan who we actually we should have evan on the podcast that's that, that's a good move um Evan shared uh, things that he's, he, he also has a portfolio of companies, but very large companies. And he's been doing this for quite some time. So we're basically merging our, our organization development things that work for us. And he shared something that he always shares mental models with his team. So they understand. And so everybody kind of operates on the, on the same mental models. And one model that he shared was Vandal. So it's about housing situation that employees are the same as tenants so you can either be an owner you can be a tenant yeah. you can be a squatter or you can be a vandal mm -hmm. right and talking about ownership you know you want people to act like owners of something you know an, an employee can be a um a tenant pays rent can do his thing uh or he can really step it up and act like an owner you know if something you know like a good tenant pays his bills 
but if he for example if the if the refrigerator or the 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 radiator leaks he will put yeah. something you know acting like an owner put something uh, a pot below it so the the wood floor does not get messed yeah. up um you know or you can also have like squatters who are not paying their rent or you can have vandals even hurting you so this mental model i think it, it's really powerful to understand that every, you want everybody yeah. in your business to act like an owner even if they're they're not owner because they own the things that they're working on they own the projects they have pride in it and i do my best to do this with all the things that i work on or that i have in my life that i have real ownership over it yeah um yeah, I, th I always appreciate when people adopt a, a bold attitude about changing their, their situation. Um, also in, 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 my, in my business, uh, I like uh, to ask for, if, there, if a problem arises, I'll ask for a number of, uh, of uh, solutions I can choose from. And so I, I, when hiring, I try to look for, for people that, that not only have a positive state of mind, but also have uh, solution finding uh, skills. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, I know that they'll be able to shape their world and the opportunities in it. Because if you if you focus on the negative, if you focus on the problems, yeah. how open will you be on on finding opportunities? If their I belief feel, system is the world is not changing, how can they change their own own world? I always tell people when they come to me with problems but no solutions, I, I send them away. I said like you know every idiot can point out something that, that is not working. Mm -hmm. But the idea is to come with like, um, hey, I found this problem. I think we could do either A or we could do B. I'm leaning towards A because of X, Y, Z. Yeah. Because then people really use their full capabilities. Right. And also when you delegate yeah. something in, in your business, you want people to be in this solution-oriented mindset versus like coming like, oh, it's yeah. not working. What do we do? Yeah. Like, you know? there, is, there is literally no, down, down, uh, no negative aspects of on doing it that way. Because one... Um, let's say the solution they come up with is really shitty. Uh, then you'll probably s save the situation by, by pointing it out that it's not a good solution. 90% of the time, the solution that they, they, come, they, they bring forward as the best one is the best one. And 10% out of the time, you can show as a, a business owner or as a, a, a leader in that situation that you find a, an option C. Mm -hmm. So another option, that's where you add value and, and potentially... Um, yeah, get this person on on a higher level. So I'm a big, big, big fan of of this uh, methodology. Yeah. There's, there's a cool book called The One Minute Manager and the Monkey, and he gives the analogy that people come with monkeys to your office and with a monkey on yep. their back, which is the problem. And then if you're a good manager, you basically you know have this framework in uh, in in place that they come with like this is the problem, this is a potential solution, or this is the other solution, and then you give them feedback, and then they leave with their monkey. Because yeah. if they leave the monkey in your office, if there's like some task that mm. you still have to complete before this can move on, at some yeah. point you have 20 monkeys in your business, in, in your office, and you cannot function anymore. So it's right. like, I guess, proper delegation. Um, yeah. We spoke on that, that taps on, oh, nice on the last uh, episode. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. One thing. I think Qu yep. Quick thought on on owning it. You know, I'm, I'm really big on owning things. Not not owning things in terms of material things, but like owning the things that I'm doing, um, owning the decisions in my life. One of our core values is um, own it, build trust and loyalty through total accountability and transparency, and then don't complain, find solutions. That's like you know one of our family core values, and also one of my my core values. I'm I'm triggered by the word total, total. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this. So this is this is strong. Okay, so the topic, owner versus victim. A victim behaves like the world sees him or her, right? So if you focus on a world where you're not seen or not respected, mm. guess how the world is going to respond to you and treat you. Mm. So by being a victim, more shit will be thrown upon you, in my, in my belief. Do you share that experience? Um, I mean, some people you, you, you'll people just like magnets for 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 bad luck, or it seems that they attract all kind of shitty situations. I guess a law of attraction. You know, if you, if you if you just like hang out in the negative and you do not, you are not solution oriented. You know, like accepting, okay, the situation sucks. What are we going to do to fix it? You know, versus like just like complaining about like 
everything's bad. You know, like the politicians yeah. are bad, the weather is bad, my job is bad, blah. You know, mm -hmm. versus being in a solution or in that mindset, then you can move out of it. And I think having problems is is totally cool. Just uh, you know, in business, you you will always have yeah. problems, but having the same problems over and over and not fixing them, this is I think when it gets shitty. Same same in life. Agreed, totally. And there's an, an, one aspect I'd like to add to that is that victims are obsessed about what other people think of them. Mm. This is a very mm. big element in, in their victor, uh, victim behavior. And owners tend to uh, uh, focus on one thing. And victims um, have, uh, yeah, a victim, a victim mentality means that you have uh, problems um, on, on often on many areas that that just haven't been decided on taking the, the action and draining mental energy on on these topics. So, yeah, there is a, a a way to to change your your own thought pattern. In in, in in it basically starts where we started out with this podcast about what is in your ability to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay. maybe that, that's a good call to action, like to think about where are you playing the victim, you know, and where do you have the possibility to change and, and take ownership for it? And maybe also look at the word, the words that you're using, you know, like, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it's not my fault. It's just the way I am. I, I have know, a different nothing one. Nothing ever goes right for me. Very yeah, please. What do, you, what do you have? Okay. How about uh, to create a future state mind movie? Okay. To just to, to sit down, uh, many people uh, in, in, in my uh, in my surrounding uh, use uh, vision boards. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, they try to yeah, they use images to to get aligned with what they really want. And I like the idea of a mind movie. Uh, you mm -hmm. can play a movie in your head. Well, well I have well. aphantasia. I cannot, but I I, I no. generally agree. <laughs> Wrong person to talk about this. <laughs> so let me tell you, David. A lot of people can actually play a movie in in their Nine, head. Ninety-eight percent of people can do can do it. I, I cannot. But that's fine. Okay. I just realized this, this is like like a bit of teasing you about this. But um, okay, let's let's say uh, um, that that you are able in by playing this mind movie and taking time how to get there. It is uh, it's very powerful. Did did I tell you that I I started using F formations in my business? Mm. Of Okay, like having you, the people in your business use yeah. them as well? Yeah, so mm -hmm. basically we, we do it on, on complex deals. So we mm. work our way back. So when is this, uh, I'm in lighting, so we could say when, when are the lights on? When is this, this, when is this project functioning? Mm -hmm. And let's say, okay, we will, we're doing a, a university uh, right now. We haven't got, we, we're pretty close in landing the deal. Um, so let's say this would be operational in the September uh, 2024. Mm -hmm. So by playing the movie back, what happened? What got us there? Mm -hmm. What has it's to be true? Huge, you know, huge. Yeah. By, by doing this with multiple people, uh, the, the, the big topics uh, pop up, like building trust by being there in time with the right information, mm. by making the situation less complex for our customer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This That's is beautiful, this actually. Yeah, it's awesome. affirmation in business. I, uh, I'm, I'm going to develop a talk on, on this because mm -hmm. I, I love it. It is uh, very powerful. They're working backwards. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. the call to action is play, if you can, play the mental movie of your future self, I guess, right? Yeah. And really think of where your limiting beliefs are stopping you from taking actions or where you can actually be an owner and yeah, assign time and money for that. Mm -hmm. I often have uh, some, some, some lingering problems around the house and I decide to, uh, to, to, to allocate some money for that. And in the end, it was often not that much. And I thought, why did I keep not up this, with yeah. this, this, this broken, broken door handle? Uh, why didn't I fix it right away? Or why didn't I, I, I put it in a place where I knew that if, if, if a guy comes uh, comes along, maybe you can fix this as well. Okay, we're running out of time, uh, David. So, right. so thank you for this one. Thank you. Um, and for, for you all, please comment if this is on YouTube. 
with things that were great takeaways from you from this episode or anything else that you have. But I always like when people share their unique takeaways because other people can learn from this. All right. Yeah. And if you have any topics that you say, okay, I want to know more about this, um, please let us know. And we'll nerd all on it. Thank you. Bye.